Hello medicos, good day to all of you. This is Dr. BK for you and today I am going to deal with the external genitalia mainly about the male external genitalia and uh, the male gonads that is the testis and uh, at the end I will be just briefly describing the parts of the female external genitalia also. Now first let us try to understand the parts of the male reproductive system. So here you are able to see the sagittal section of the male pelvis. So mainly you are able to see the testis which is present inside the scrotum that is the male gonads then the sperm which is actually produced in the testis is transported into the epididymis and then continuing as the vas difference the vas difference along with the, the seminal vesicle will form a single duct called as the ejaculatory duct which opens into the male urethra. This is the male urethra which is very long. It is made up of the prostatic part of urethra which is inside the prostate gland. Then this small part is the membranous part of urethra and this is the spongy or the penile part of urethra. So the parts as I told you the male gonads are the testis then what you have is the epididymis, vas deferens and the ejaculatory duct. They form the male reproductive tract or the duct system. Mm -hmm. So they are mainly responsible for transportation of the spermatozoa. Mm -hmm. Then seminal vesicle.